What's going on everybody? So in today's video we're going to learn how to export a chart using Chart.js in React. And this is what we're going to be building today. It's a basic chart with three colors, yellow, blue, and red. And we can click this download button and we'll see that it downloads an image of the chart for us. And if we wanted to filter, let's say red and yellow and just have all blue, we can see that we'll have that as well. Cool. Let's get into it. All right, so I have a brand new React app made right here. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is install our package for React Chart.js. And to do that, all you have to do is npm i react dash chart js dash two chart dot js. You can also do dash dash save if you want, but uh, I won't for this tutorial. And I went ahead and created this folder called components. Inside of there, I'm going to create a file and I'll call it line chart. Oh, it's going to be donut. So I'll do donut chart dot js. And let's go ahead and imp copy this stuff right here and put it inside of here. I'll give her this import. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and import, oops, import react and use ref as well as use callback. Oops from React. And since we also have their package installed, I might as well go ahead and import all the stuff that I, we need. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and do import, let's do donut from, oops, from React dash chart.js dash two. Next thing we're gonna do is import chart from chart.js slash auto. This is where we're going to be registering our actual chart. And the next and final import that we're going to have to do is import, oops, import category scale from chart.js. And we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so now that we've got everything imported and installed, I'm going to go ahead and create my chart as fast as possible. So underneath my import statements, I'm going to go ahead and create a data variable. So I'll do const data is equal to empty object. Inside of there, I'm going to give it labels and I'll do red, green, yellow, gray, dark gray. And I'll do data sets with a array block, curly braces, label. We'll give it my data set. Oops. There we go. And for data, these are some random numbers that GitHub Copilot is throwing at me. So I'll just go ahead and take them. And for background color, you know what? That's fine as well. So we're going to be going with these colors right here. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and complete this background. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and do hover offset and we'll do four. And now going into my actual function app. I'm going to change this uh, name into donut chart and we'll export it there. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the tag right here. So first thing I'm going to do is actually create the button for the, um, the export of the chart. So I'll do button type is equal to button on click. This function doesn't exist yet, so I'll just do download image, oh, download chart. And for that, I'll give it download right there. You know, since it doesn't exist, I want to actually see the chart actually work. So I'm going to get rid of that name and I'll make another div. This is where our donut chart will be hosted. And I'll do donut data is equal to data and ref isn't equal to anything right now, uh, but soon it'll be equal to something called ref. So let's just go ahead and see if this will work. I'm gonna get rid of this right here. And I'll go ahead and import it into my main app component. So I'll just do donut chart. And I'm gonna go ahead and start up my app. All right, so the app is run. And now we can see that we have a giant chart right here. We'll fix the sizing later, but we can see that we have our donut chart and we can click our filters. But our download button isn't doing anything right now. So let's go ahead and make our download button work. All right, so now I'm gonna go back into my donut chart component and underneath my data variable, I'm gonna go ahead and register my chart. So I'll just do chart 
dot register category scale and within my donut chart function I'm gonna go ahead and create our ref variable so the const ref is equal to use ref and we'll just set it as null initially and next, th next thing that we're gonna do is create our download image function so to do that what we're gonna do is const download image is equal to we're gonna be using a use callback here and I'll do an empty array block to complete it up alright so now that we have everything in place we actually need to find a way to download our base 64 and also get our base 64 and the simplest way that I found to actually download something on the click of a button by a function um, was this method where we can do a const link variable is equal to document document dot create element and we're going to create an a tag and we'll do link dot download so for our download file name I'll do chart dot png and for our href link dot href is equal to ref dot current dot to base 64 image and finally we're going to do a click function right there so what this does is it creates an element a tag with a file name of chart.png and this href is equal to ref.current to base64 basically donut our chart donut will have a bunch of properties inside a ref which will contain uh, one thing called current and inside of current it has a property it has a function that we can call called to base64 image that will give us the base 64 of that specific chart at that state in time and then finally we can have a uh, click, fu click function right here that will trigger you guessed it a click function and so to actually call this inside of my download button right here I'll do a on click is equal to download image and underneath all of this bad boy I'm gonna go ahead inside of my donut add a ref is equal to ref so we're actually applying this ref const variable to actually um, have something and instead of doing that I'm gonna actually do let there we go uh, and now if we try it out we should see that it works and we have a huge graph that we need to fix so that's pretty simple so I had this div right here inside of there I'll add a style to it so I'll do height to be 690 pixels width you guessed it 690 pixels and margin we're gonna put it in the middle to be auto and now if we test it out we should see the perfect and now we have no errors which is even better and if I were to click on any of these we'll see that it starts to filter out if I click download we'll see that it downloads right here and if I open up the image we have an image of that chart in that specific point in time with these two items filtered out if we wanted let's say for some reason it says green but it displays blue well if we only wanted red and I click download now it'll show us red perfect awesome so now that concludes the tutorial you can also apply this exact same functionality to different charts if you want so right now I have a donut chart right here if I wanted to add a let's say a line chart instead and I were to download this we will see a perfect line chart right here and of course the background you can always set as CSS later but we have a perfect line chart and uh, I hope that this video helps you out I hope that you learned lots if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one